But we do go to uh, the Nuggets from yesterday. They had a practice, and uh, Michael Malone um, asked by Vic Lombardi. Vic, Vic gets paranoid about a lot of things, but he might have struck the right chord with Malone about more confidence with than when you're winning. Why do um, why do I have more confidence in you guys when you're trailing at half than when you have a big lead at half? Because uh, history would tell you that when we have a big lead, we tend to relax. And we tend to uh, abandon everything that afforded us the lead that we had. Um, and so when you're down by 20, you become urgent, you become desperate, you become hungry. And it was so evident. I mean, first half defensive clips, second half defensive clips. Yes, we made the adjustment, but it wasn't just the adjustment. It was the activity, the urgency and desperation in which we played with. So, um, you know, I still would like to be up at halftime and stop digging ourselves double digit deficits as we had having game one and two. But there is concern to your point, Vic, uh, to my father, who, who recently would have turned 89 years old. But. Uh, he would always say that when you guys get a lead, man, because I get really nervous. And uh, so hopefully we get a lead, but it's not too big of a lead. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fun. Meanwhile, Katie Wingy asked him, um, you know, about watching the Murray shot that we've all watched like 10,000 times. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I, I go through the film probably like five times. And then every time I watch it, I get just as excited. And not just in, in the shot, but the reaction. Like, I'm looking at David Adelman jumping in the air, Dan Shemensky running around like he's a two-year-old, uh, the bench reaction, the fans. Fans behind the bench aren't even watching the, the game. They're watching it on the Jumbotron, which is so weird to me. It's happening right in front of you, and they're like this. But, yeah, it's, it was a hell of a play in one of those shots. Uh, has, has a nickname been given to it yet? Like, you know, is there a... That's a lot. That's a that's a mouthful. We got to work on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with something better than the shot of 5280. How about Jamal Murray made a shot? That's what. How about how about yeah? They, uh, and I believe it was the first buzzer beater in Nuggets playoff history. Um, but yeah, it was a great moment, and um, you, those are moments that you will talk about and relive for 50 years from now. They'll still be talking about that. Yeah, no doubt about it. Um, I love Vic's, uh, Vic. Um, I think you nailed it. Jamal Murray made a shot. I think that's what it should be. There's a great photo. And if, if, if it was just in quotes underneath it, Jamal Murray made a shot because it's so sort of disrespectful as if it was, oh, you know, whatever, no big deal. I saw uh, Vic uh, um, put forward, or somebody thought, the Kitchener sink, which is good. I mean, that's good. It is, but... Jamal Murray made a shot. I don't know how you top that. Listen, I'll, I'll always think of it as, as Vic pointed out, Jamal Murray made a shot. Jamal Murray made a shot. I think that is the absolute best. Jamal Murray made a shot. Yeah, he did. I mean, to to to, to put it like it's like, hey, it's no big deal. Jamal Murray made a shot. Uh, yeah, first buzzer beater in Nuggets history when you led by twenty, and he, Jamal Murray, was having a terrible game. Just he just made a shot. Jamal Murray made a shot. With the perfect mic drop, with the little feedback. It's the greatest mic drop sound effect of all time. Jamal Murray made a shot. The perfect part, not only is the mic drop loud, but you get that just faint little feedback sound at the end. Jamal Murray made a shot. I can watch that a thousand times, as well as the shot itself. Jamal Murray made a shot. I'm, I'm sticking a uh, Kitchener sink. That's cool. Um, but I'm, I'm always going to call it Jamal Murray made a shot. 